Well, some people have asked whether deep brain stimulation is uh, similar to uh, heart pacemaker. In that regard, yes, we can think of it as a brain pacemaker. Yeah, the, the device is fairly small. It's comprised of two parts. There's the stimulation wire, which is placed uh, a short distance into the brain. And there's a small battery pack, which provides the electrical signal. Um, the battery pack uh, is implanted under the skin, as is the wire. So once the system is in place, the patients can, in essence, forget that it's there. Deep brain stimulation is not for everyone, but for those individuals who have advanced Parkinson's disease, who no longer respond adequately to medications, it's probably the best surgical treatment that we have. Well, some people are surprised to find out that deep brain stimulation exists, despite the fact that it's been around now for a few years. Uh, we need to do a better job of educating patients and even my own medical colleagues about the, the availability of deep brain stimulation. Uh, it's probably suitable for roughly 5 or 10 percent of people with Parkinson's disease, but for that 5 or 10 percent, it can make a profound difference in their quality of life. Well, one of the main differences that we can achieve with surgery for Parkinson's disease is that we can reduce some of the complications that develop with medication therapy. For example, one of the problems that can occur when an individual has been taking medications for Parkinson's disease for a few years is what we refer to as motor fluctuations. I call this the roller coaster. Patient takes his medications, he does pretty well for a few hours, the medicine wears off. Takes another pill, he does okay for a few hours, it wears off. All day long, he's on a roller coaster. The surgery uh, is working 24 hours a day. We leave the stimulator on, it's producing that tiny electrical signal 24 hours per day, and it tends to smooth out the peaks and valleys. It reduces those motor fluctuations. The net result is that patients have a greater time during each day when they're at that good level of functioning that lets them get out and do the things they need to do, whether it's get groceries or pick up the laundry. The majority of patients who go through the deep brain stimulation surgery have significant improvement in their ability to, to continue with their daily activities. And for some of them, it does reach the, the extent uh, at which without the surgery, they probably would have been in a nursing home. Patients always want to know, can I stop my medicines right after surgery? And the, the short answer, probably not. In general, we don't activate the deep brain stimulation system for at least a few days or several weeks following surgery. The reason being, the brain needs to heal a little bit before we can activate the device and get it programmed. Typically, patients won't see the, the full benefit of the surgery for at least weeks or perhaps even several months after the surgery. That's always a, uh, a little frustrating for the patients. It's a bit like having a, a new car and having to park it in the garage, not being allowed to take it out for that first drive for four weeks or six weeks. The Department of Veterans Affairs, in conjunction with the National Institutes of Health, recently completed a very large-scale study comparing the results of deep brain stimulation to uh, medication therapy. Uh, the study uh, lasted for well over six years in duration. It's the largest study that's ever been organized uh, comparing medication therapy to deep brain stimulation. What we found is that patients who were treated with medication therapy over the duration of the study had no significant change in their symptoms. In contrast, those individuals who received deep brain stimulation were markedly better. In particular, the time that they spent each day in what we call good on time, again, the time when they can get out, do the things they need to do, shop for groceries, get their laundry, nearly doubled in those individuals who 
received deep brain stimulation compared to those individuals who were continued on medication therapy. The study demonstrated clearly that deep brain stimulation can provide significant improvement in uh, functional ability for uh, appropriate candidates. Uh, deep brain stimulation surgery is one of the most rewarding surgeries that I do. Uh, as I tell the patients, it's not uh, really a life-saving surgery, uh, but it's something uh, that can have such, such significant impact on quality of life that I personally believe it really merits the, uh, the, the potential discomfort and risks of the surgery uh, because the benefit can be so substantial. I never received much in the way of thank you letters from patients until I started doing deep brain stimulation surgery. Uh, and this is one surgery following which I've received many comments from patients, spouses, and family members saying, you know, this surgery has given me my life back. The wives saying, this has given my husband back to me.